Well, hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over the 1.9 patch and the items that I have found sell for the most amount of money. When you look at the gold per fine steel ratio, javelins actually make way more money than two-handed swords. And what I mean by fine steel ratio is I essentially converted everything into how many it takes to get to fine steel. So I can calculate basically the total fine steel value of that and divide it by how much it sells for. And then that can tell me how much gold I'm getting per the ratio of all the values. But essentially javelins are where it's at. Now I played around with this quite a bit. And I actually found that not including the tier five spike or tier four riveted added enough value. The best value is actually just doing a really long mahogany javelin shaft, a really wide riveted spearhead. And I tried all different combinations to get to this. And the tier five, I tried other, I tried the lower tiers and it decreased the value significantly. This is the one of the best items. You get 5,312 gold per fine steel crafting this. The total value of this is 2.5 fine steel and then i'll forge this and i'll show you this is a three-part cra crafted javelin now i'll play devil's advocate here and i'll put a full spiked round spear pommel and i actually tried it of all sizes i played around with all the sizes uh, i found that having all these at 100 percent is where you want it to get the max value uh, the dam it seems that the height and damage increases the value of the javelins and this has changed a lot you'll you'll see videos where they'll say you can use xyz but they're from two years ago and those glitch those glitches and exploits have been patched out and i'm sure this will change in time too and i'll have to create a whole new video on it but here we can see that the the crafted javelin sells for 17259 when I add that fine steel. And so when I looked at this, I wasn't just looking at what sells for the most money. I was looking at every single component and how much gold I am getting per ore that I am investing in these items. So for making straight cash, you just want to make you just spam the javelins and What's great about the javelins is, is actually there's actually not many parts which makes it really easy once you have a high enough blacksmithing to learn everything i learned everything from just buying a stack of 318 simple javelins it set me back about 46,000, but you'll quickly make that up you don't want to smell iron ore and go down the, the chain and all that stuff because it's an absolute waste of time what you want to do is go town to town and excuse my pronunciation of this but Pirio daggers you want to buy these because 30 of them for 6930 when you go to smelt these bad boys they give you a fine steel and a piece of steel so this 250 gold dagger i just bought i'm going to turn it into 7500 gold that's how crazy broken smelting is but you can just smelt down all of these javelins and you'll you'll learn every single part you're also getting wood while you're smelting it down so you can refine it into coal to get you into a place where you can convert everything where you need it to be so i've pretty much just shown you how broken blacksmithing is and these javelins just go around by the pugio <laughs> by the Pugio blades and smelt them down and craft javelins and make ridiculous sums of money. 